Justice Minister Rachel McLean has been heavily criticised after suggesting that the way to deal with the cost of living crisis could be to get a better job or work longer hours. Well, she's not the first MP to offer some homespun advice. George Eustace said that shoppers should buy value supermarket brands and Lee Anderson claimed that others couldn't cook or budget properly. <laughs> well, joining us now is political activist Femi Oluwole, who thinks it's offensive to blame individuals for their own poverty, and journalist Sophie Corcoran, who agrees with the minister and says, yes, work longer. It's a good solution to the problem. Very good morning to both of you. Hi. Um, Sophie, a lot of people thought that Rachel McLean sounded a bit patronising, uh, that actually it's down to you as an individual. If you're not earning enough to pay your bills, you simply go and get a better job that earns you more. Um, the trouble is, what happens then to those jobs? Who does the jobs that people are leaving? And how easy is it actually for an individual simply to up sticks, get a better paid job and then pay the bills? See, a lot of people that were really angry about this, fun fact of social media, didn't actually watch the video. Because if you watch the full version on Sky News, you would see that she said, and I quote, mm -hmm. over the long term, we need to come up with a plan that will enable people, if they want to, to work longer hours and to get better paid jobs in the cost of living crisis. She also very, very carefully said multiple times when challenged, mm -hmm. it, does, it won't help everybody. And she said, we know the fact that it's not going to help anybody. That's why we need other plans in place, because there are people that do work three jobs and mm -hmm. they're in this situation. However, she did say it is a solution for some what people. What about pensioners? Well, of course, they're, they're, I think, you know, the triple lock, having them were, was a good idea. They've got a big problem with the cost of living crisis, but that's not what she was on about here. A lot of the outrage is that it was spun to say that she used to say, you will get out of poverty if you get a better job or work longer hours. Mm. It, it wasn't that. It was taken completely out of context. She said, for some people, a solution could be this, but it won't work for everybody else, which is why we need the other measures in place, which I think is totally reasonable. I mean, what is wrong with saying to people, and it, we've, we've seen similar outrage with the Lee Anderson comments as well, we're saying to people, we will give you, as a government, the opportunity, if you want to, to be able to work longer hours if you want to, to be able to get a better paid job to be, if you want to, to teach people how to shop, how to budget, mm. how to cook, and how to enable people to help themselves. I think the, tr the trouble is, Sophie, that it, when prices are rising at the rate they are, when energy bills are going up to the, to the extent that they are, a lot of people say we're doing as individuals as much as we possibly can. What we're asking for is more help. Femi, that seems to be the... Whereas the government doesn't answer by saying, OK, we're going to take that off your energy bills mm -hmm. or, it, you know, put a windfall tax on the companies making excess profits yeah. or make benefits go up in, in line with inflation. They're saying, well, one of the solutions is you could get yourself a better job. Exactly, and that's not an option for everybody. And as the IFS has said, inflation has gone up, the benefits have been have risen by three percent, whereas inflation, whereas it needs to be got up by six percent in order to stay in line with inflation. Mm. Otherwise, there'll be serious um, problems. The issue isn't that she was giving advice. The issue is because, like Jack Monroe, the anti-Brexit, anti-anti-poverty campaigner, she's um, made, they've made a lot of uh, advice as to how people can cope with this cost of living crisis. The issue isn't the advice. The issue is. If I was your mate and I, and I gave you advice about how to budget better, that's, that's advice. Mm. If I owed you £1,000 <laughs> and was refusing to pay and then said, you need to budget better, that's a rubbish move to make on my part. And the government is the reason why things are as bad as they are. They're the, re they're the people that, that cut the benefits. They're the people that have chosen to tax well, uh, no, working hang on, people. There are, just a minute, there are other factors like what's happening in Ukraine. Of course um, there are other that, of course, that, As the Bank of England says, that's of, a major effect of on Of course there are other but factors. But do you think that she's got a point in mm -hmm. that we are, uh, we are too quick as a society, largely because of social media, that's a very good point, um, to jump on the heads of people who are, are going into areas which, yes, are controversial, but some people would say need saying. In other words, God helps people that helps themselves. It's an, old, it's an old saying, but it has a degree of wisdom to it, doesn't it? As I, as I said, the advice isn't the problem. The problem is they're the people that have chosen to make life harder uh, on top of the stuff like Ukraine. So, for example, if you look at the... When they say that they can't help people more, the reason why they can't help people more, well, they say they can't help people more, is because they say that they need to look after the long-term future of the economy. Mm. And according to our government, the Office of Budgetary Responsibility, the damage they've done to the long-term future of the economy via Brexit is twice as bad as the pandemic. Sophie, did so I they're see the you, reason why things nodding, are as bad. Did I see you nodding with agreement when we mentioned a, a, a cut in VAT? 
Yes, yeah, yeah I, I believe, we, I believe that I we should nodding, cut VAT and we, we should cut. Another thing is the green levies that are adding 25% of people's energy bills. If the government wanted to get rid of it, they would. But here's my problem with you, Femi. It's the fact that you're saying, the, you know, the government have made bad decisions and the bad decisions they made were borrowing 400 billion for the COVID pandemic or not allowing us to use our shower gas. All things that you approved of. This lockdown that you approved of is the reason why we have this cost of living crisis. And your other thing was to say, well, they need to raise benefits. Who's paying for that? Taxpayers, people like me that are working and are not getting the benefit of that work. I'm sorry, you can't say raise benefits because we are literally taxing people into poverty. And in order to pay for that, the taxpayers are paying for those benefits. That money doesn't come out of nowhere. As far as lockdown goes, we would have had significant, even more deaths than we, than we had. We had the highest excess death in Europe in 2020. And if we would hadn't had lockdown, that would have been even worse. Mm -hmm. as, as far as the uh, who, who pays for it, they've chosen to um, tax working people by raising national insurance. And the, um, the was it Office of, I think it was the Office of Budget or something. I think it was, no, the IFS. They're the ones who said that they call it broadly, broadly progressive, but it would have been better to, to use income tax to put the burden on people who already mm -hmm. earn more. They've chosen methods that will make things worse for the people who earn the least. Sophie, what would be uh, your proposal for the government to intervene to help with the cost cut of living taxes. crisis? First thing, cut green taxes. The biggest problem we have right so now is... So you do see that bills. the government has a responsibility. It isn't just about individuals oh, of course, of course. managing the their budget. I, I think everybody cooking. needs to acknowledge that the government is always going to have responsibility yeah. over people's lives. However, you can't just solely rely on the government to fix your problems. There but are on, things on that you can do taxes, to make things um, easier. Cut green taxes. Uh, we'll be talking about the windfall tax later. It's coming up in Parliament today. The windfall tax on, on fuel companies? I don't necessarily think the windfall tax is probably the best right, way to do it. I think that we should cut VAT and that's why we left the European Union and we should take a, we should take advantage of that. Well, this is yeah. the issue. And, but Femi, I've asked Sophie what she thinks government could do mm. because, um, you know, her focus is mainly on individuals can do more to help themselves. Mm. Femi, you want government to interview, but what could individuals do to help themselves? As far as individuals help, helping themselves, I think individuals are trying the most they could possibly do. People are working extremely hard right now. People are having to make sacrifices in terms of their ability to eat compared to their children being able to eat. That is already well, happening. A survey but, out today saying that, 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 uh, on Sky saying that uh, one, one family in four is now skipping a meal a day. Ex exactly. Yeah. And, and, this, and, this, and yet the government keeps saying things that imply it's the people's fault. You had Jacob rees and Dominic Raab saying that if people are struggling with Brexit, it's because they're not managing their businesses properly. You had Andrew Bridgen saying people just need to get an Irish passport if they so want this is right. all about the government's responsibility. It's not a, a, the rest it's, 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 This is the problem. But the thing is, people are already taking responsibility. It no. is insulting not to them. They don't it need to be it told it to because it, they already are. Yes, it's insulting. Right, we'll have to bring the curtain down on the, on the debate at that point. But thank you both very much indeed. That was thank very lovely. Thank you. Thank you.